Today we're reading the introduction to the workbook from A Course in Miracles. Introduction. A theoretical foundation such as the text provides is necessary as a framework to make the exercises in this workbook meaningful. Yet it is doing the exercises that will make the goal of the course possible. An untrained mind can accomplish nothing. It is the purpose of this workbook to train your mind to think along the lines the text sets forth. And yet elsewhere in the course it tells us that it's okay to do the workbook first and get around to the text later. Eventually though, doing both is what will really provide a full understanding. The exercises are very simple. They do not require a great deal of time and it does not matter where you do them. They need no preparation. The training period is one year. The exercises are numbered from 1 to 365. Do not undertake to do more than one set of exercises a day. The course is very clear that one exercise a day is more than enough. <laughs> You'll see. The workbook is divided into two main sections. The first dealing with the undoing of the way you see now and the second with the acquisition of true perception. You don't have to worry about true perception right now. We don't get around to it till lesson 221, a little more than halfway through the workbook. So the first part really sets you up to understand what true perception is. With the exception of the review periods, each day's exercises are planned around one central idea, which is stated first and that's simply the title of each lesson. This is followed by a description of the specific procedures by which the idea for the day is to be applied. The purpose of the workbook is to train your mind in a systematic way to a different perception of everyone and everything in the world. The exercises are planned to help you generalize the lessons so that you will understand that each of them is equally applicable to everyone and everything you see. Transfer of training in true perception does not proceed as does transfer of the training of the world. That's a very unique sentence. I take it to mean that in the world if we're trained to learn Spanish or we're trained uh, to learn tennis that we apply those things to specific situations in specific contexts. But in A Course in Miracles, as we gain true perception, we apply the principles of love, peace, and joy to everyone and everything, everywhere. If true perception has been achieved in connection with any person, situation, or event, total transfer to everyone and everything is certain. On the other hand, one exception held apart from true perception makes its accomplishments anywhere impossible. So if we're willing to love all our brothers, except one specific person who really seems indefensible to us, then true perception and the miracle won't happen. We have to include everybody. The only general rules to be observed throughout then are, first, that the exercises be practiced with great specificity, as will be indicated. This will help you to generalize the ideas involved to every situation in which you find yourself and to everyone and everything in it. So paradoxically, if we use great specificity, we will learn to generalize. Second, be sure that you do not decide for yourself that there are some people, situations, or things to which the ideas are inapplicable. Hmm. I must be psychic. This will interfere with transfer of training. The very nature of true perception is that it has no limits. It is the opposite of the way you see now. The overall aim of the exercises is to increase your ability to extend the ideas you will be practicing to include everything. This will require no effort on your part. The exercises themselves meet the conditions necessary for this kind of transfer. 
Some of the ideas the workbook presents you will find hard to believe, and others may seem to be quite startling. This does not matter. You are merely asked to apply the ideas as you are directed to do. You are not asked to judge them at all. You are asked only to use them. It is their use that will give them meaning to you and will show you that they are true. Remember only this. You need not believe the ideas, you need not accept them, and you need not even welcome them. Some of them you may actively resist. None of this will matter or decrease their efficacy. But do not allow yourself to make exceptions in applying the ideas the workbook contains. And whatever your reactions to the ideas may be, use them. Nothing more than that is required. That's the introduction to the workbook from A Course in Miracles. Pretty exciting stuff. Can't wait to do lesson one. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresasim.com and read Amy's blog. Namaste.